This section is Section 5 Agility. In this section, we will attempt to implement proper deceleration and reacceleration, as well as deceleration and cutting at a proper body positions. This exercise is a 10-yard build-up acceleration with a three-step deceleration. There are several points that we need to pay attention to as we go through this motion. You want to begin at a lower pace and then gradually build up as you progress throughout this exercise and get experience with this. The first thing you need to pay attention to is as we are decelerating, with the three steps is the chest position. We do not want to have a high level of torso length. The second thing we need to pay attention to is lowering our center of gravity. That involves flexing the hips, knees, and ankles to where when we finish, we should be in a position where we would be able to cut at any angle. We, if we're with our right leg forward, we'd be able to cut to the left, we'd be able to re-accelerate forward, or we'd be able to backpedal. Need to make sure that center of gravity is low with our chest upright. As we go through this exercise, we need to also be paying attention to our, our, to our body lean. We are decelerating with our torso leaning back. We have run a high risk of falling and, and implementing injury. I will do several reps to, to demonstrate. The next exercise we'll be performing in the agility series is the lateral shuffle run, cut, run. We will be shuffling laterally for five yards, turn and run with opening the lead leg's hip, decelerating on the lead leg, after which we will open with our trail leg's hip and, and accelerate out five yards back to the start position. Getting position, we will turn to one side, the right side, feet will be hip width, toes square, we do not want them pointed out. Lower our body, six to eight inches, hips back, Weight on the, mid, on the balls of the feet. From this position, we are driving through the trail leg and lifting up our lead leg. Going at, not bringing the feet together, our feet will not cross over. Once we get to the five yard line, we will plant and drive through the, the trail leg, open the lead leg's hip, and run. Once we get all the way to, to the 10 yard line, break down, decelerate at a, in a lateral position that left leg, open the right hip, run back through. This exercise in the agility portion is power cut running. The most important portion is the setup. From the lead cone, you will go seven yards forward, five to the right, seven yards forward, five to the left, and on and on until there's three cones on each side. The most important thing about this exercise is to make sure that when you cut, you cut on the outside leg. From the start cone, Run to the second cone at an angle, accelerating forward. As we approach the cone, plant on, plant on the foot, or instep of the foot should be facing the next cone. As we get to that position, drive, lead with the opposite knee. Continuing on from the second cone, drive, accelerating in, planting, cutting into the next cone. Doing the power cut. One of the things we need to make sure we pay attention to lowering our body and our center of gravity. As we come in, run, or running into the cut, if I'm cutting off my right leg, I need to make sure I am putting force in the opposite direction that I'm going. If I'm going this way, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna cut that way, I need to plant my foot, drive. The toe needs to be point, pointing straight forward and staying square with the shoulders the entire time. We do not want it pointing in, we do not want it pointing out. Staying square planting and cutting through the outstep of the foot.